It is a very big topic, one we often don't discuss openly enough. September is Suicide Prevention Month. Waco ISD is using this as an opportunity to talk about suicide and mental health with their students. 25 News reporter Alicia Nespreto has more. Waco ISD has been recognizing Suicide Prevention Month at all of their campuses. Over at Tennyson Middle School, they're really focusing on positivity. Our kindness group present um, words of affirmation and positive messages. When you walk into the middle school, you can't help but notice how important you are. They go through so many different emotions just in general. Um, and we really don't know what's going on at home as well. And so we think that it's important to kind of build students, I guess, ability to kind of cope and to think, at th think of things differently. Students face a lot of changes making the switch from elementary to middle school, and it can be challenging for their mental health. The school's older grades hosted a skit on Wednesday to acknowledge some of those challenges. She's kind of like going through a lot of things. Her first thought is like people are like making fun of her and bullying her and saying a whole bunch of things on social media. Um, so that makes her really sad and depressed. Katerina Tellett plays the lead in this skit. Her character struggles with her emotions, peer pressure, and bullying. Until she finally finds a supportive group of friends to pull her out of a dark time. Even though like things are tough, you know, you might think that like you're at the lowest low, but in reality, like at this age, like you're so young, you know, you still have so much of your life life left that it really doesn't matter like what you wore and like what one person said about you. You know, I think one thing that's very important is that they're not alone. You know, um, they may be dealing with something um, and everyone else is too. And so we can look at it in that, through that lens as well. The school says this is also a really good time for parents to have these conversations at home with their students and listen when they talk about their emotions. In the newsroom, Alicia Nespreto, 25 News. Now, according to the CDC, suicide is the second leading cause of death of young people from ages 10 to 14 and 20 to 34. Studies show more than 20 percent of teens have seriously considered suicide. If you are in crisis or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, call or text 988.